Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 46 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. It's a very rainy day here today at the Tower of the Gods. And that rain is probably a sign of things to come because right now we're about to head right up here. Oh my, why is my cursor already there? It's weird. To the Forsaken Fortress to go save our sister. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to stop at all. No side quests or anything along the way. It's basically just going to be a straight shot northwest right up to there, so... Uh, yeah, but that is quite a ways of sailing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and meet you there. Oh, okay, we're starting to get exploding barrels appearing, so that might mean that we're getting a little close. I'm not entirely sure. There's a cyclone over there, by the way. Coming for you soon enough, Cyclos, just you wait. That's one of the next big important things that we have to do, actually. But for right now, I'm just dead set on saving my sister because, uh, <laughs> we're just spending 46 episodes just lollygagging around. And, uh, well, not exactly 46, maybe like 44. But now it's time to finally get our vengeance. I can't even see the ta the place. It's like all, it's so dark that you can't even see the silhouette. Wait, there it is. Because it was a dark and stormy night. Mm. Oh, man, wow. <laughs> Look at that, the sun just rises right away. What a glorious thing. We're going to see this place in the daytime, apparently. Actually, I think there is some uh, some sort of pre-scripted thing that says once you get close enough to this, it's just... Yeah, look at the sun go, oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was fast. And it just goes automatically to night just to make this that much more epic, I guess. Alright. But now, you know what? Now we have our sword here, so we're fully equipped. We're ready to take this place on. We've even got a cannon of our own that we can use. So let's do that. Bust down the door here. I think if you actually line this up right, you can actually help get hit like the cannons here to actually help you bust down the door. So that's kind of cool. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll left one last sucker shot. What the hell? I initiated that cutscene so weird the bow just went on without me. Whatever. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword! That's right, that's what we got last time, oh my god. The sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hand, none shall keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid! Now go forth with caution. Alrighty. Yeah, see, I got a sword, I'm not afraid of these spotlights now. I don't need no barrels to help me. I'm just busting through the door. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh my god, you're scary, man. God, this is one of my favorite mini-bosses, like, ever. This is Phantom Ganon Incarnate. Okay, um, really quick, before doing much of anything else, you will get to fight this guy again, but not... He has, like, a limited amount of times that you fight him. So I recommend getting a picture for the Nintendo Gallery as soon as possible. He's right behind me. He, he was... <laughs> I guess getting a picture of a Phantom is easier said than done. Here we go. Uh, that, sh that should be good. That'll be fine. <laughs> I just want to get to the fight, man. This is so fun. Somehow it's a bit easier than, like, in the N64 from in Ocarina of Time. Couldn't decide whether it's N64. What? Oh, damn it. He's like, what the hell? Dude. <laughs> that was so not fair. He was just scraggling on the rocks. How was I supposed to even do that? But just like in Ocarina of Time, you can use a bottle here, too, if you want. It might actually be recommended because the bottle has a pretty huge range in this game, surprisingly. I think it has a bigger range than the sword, even. But how could you not take this guy down with the Master Sword, man? That's just... that's tra tradition! Okay, there we go. Oh man, I'm close to him. That I was going fast! Oh, sweet. Yeah, with this sword, it shouldn't... Since we do, like, double damage with our sword effectively now, this guy, I think, only takes about three rounds, maybe. Maybe four. If you get unlucky... Oh! Speaking of getting unlucky... Got a good shot in there, Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> I love how I call him that. Just like, yeah, we're buddies. I just call him by his first name, I guess. He's done, man. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Go back to the Shadow Temple where you belong. Well, actually, the Forest Temple, but... I don't know. Ooh. I'll be back. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's two doors open in there. I don't think we can really get to that one across the way, but maybe it's important for later. I don't, I don't entirely remember. I haven't done this place in a while. 
pretty much the latter half of this game I haven't done in a long time. I still remember what this is though, you can't possibly forget this treasure, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, this is the Skull Hammer, basically the same as the Megaton Hammer from Ocarina of Time, except way more cartoony. I mean, if you couldn't tell already. Some enemies just get stunned from the shockwaves even, yeah. I mean, look at this thing, this is so funny to use. Especially on these guys coming up, they just let you use it right away here. Where's the mini balloons, yeah. See, because if you, like, you can do, like, a spin attack thing. Wait, I, I can do this. Shoot. Well, you can crush them like that, too, that's pretty funny. But there's one thing I want to show off with them if I get the chance. You can also smash these weird things now. Quite convenient that we get it. Dude, this spotlight will not... Oh my god. <laughs> they are staying on me to, like... Like the 4th of July or something. No, I want to swing it. Because there's something really funny that happens. Oh, wait. Let's try it with these guys. No. Okay, well, at least they hit me and knocked me out of it. You son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, my God. Mini balloon baseball for the win. Okay. So there's really not too much to do around this. This is sort of a pseudo dungeon. Funnily enough, you do get a piece of heart at the end of it. But, um... I mean, a heart container. We already got our piece of heart from this place. And, uh, yeah, there's no way to, like, swing across here now, so basically you just have to use your Deku Leaf. There is one place that if I can remember where it is, I want to show some... Is it right here? It actually is. It's this pot right here. Okay, basically what you want to do, um... Oh, man, that took longer than normal. Okay, yeah, but once you got Tingle here, let's see... Yeah, we're in the Forsaken Fortress. Good job, Tingle. But I think if you hop into this pot, once you once you have Tingle, like, connected, if you just step in the pot, it's a totally random place. Yeah, he, he just chimes in and he says, Oh, it's the rare magic pot. You can easily make Ting with the... What? The, my screen. I hate these not LCD screens. You can make some Ting easily with the leftover broth. Oh, you got the magic leftover broth. The price of Ting has dropped. You're one lucky customer. Yeah, so the ting that you can use with the tingle tuner, which is basically just, it, it basically, it's basically just magic potions and stuff, like not anything out of the ordinary from other potions that are in the actual game. And um, yeah, now they're just, cut, I think the prices are halved or something. I don't know about that. But yeah, that's just a little bit of a Easter egg, sort of like that thing that I showed off on Windfall when you go on top of that like tarp or the overhang or whatever it was. In any case, that's just some little stupid thing that you might as well do while you're here if you can. But now to get down to business. Really, this place is way less threatening now that we actually don't have to worry about sneaking around with all these moblins and stuff. We can actually just take out the moblins quite easily now. If you really want to. Um, Man, I thought the room was closer than this. Basically, the layout of this place is just, in, it's entirely the same, it's basically, just a few things have changed, like those lanterns aren't there anymore, and, uh, you don't have to take out the spotlights this time. You might think you do, with something that happens a little later on, but, um, yeah, that statue up there still shoots lasers at you, I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, because there's something later on that the spotlights, you might get worried about, but, uh, you can't get caught here anyways, like, if they catch you, you can just kick their ass instead of them hauling you into prison. Doesn't even matter. Mm, man, Link was struggling to open that door. I guess they are pretty big. They're like 40 times his size. Jeez. Jeez Louise, what is that? Oh, it's a mini blimp. Oh my god. You guys get out of here. I remember one time, this is actually the first place that I discovered, uh... It wasn't even on my first run, it was on a recent run, actually. Where I discovered the, like, the baseball swing thing with these guys. And it was so funny because, like, I used it, and I actually launched them onto, like, top of the, one of the walls, and I just saw them, like, die up there. It was so funny. It's hard to describe unless you actually saw it. Hard to appreciate it. All right, man, these guys are just... Okay, I'm just going to use my sword on you. Enough of this hammer crap. Hammer's useful for certain things in the game, but not a whole heap of things. Mostly just, like, puzzles that involve hammering down pegs like this. You won't find yourself using it for combat all that much. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, oh man, I smashed him with the butt of the hammer back there. Did you see that? Pro, man. Freaking pro. Not really. I'm just boasting my ego. Okay. Yeah, so right here, remember uh, 
I don't know if I actually showed this off, but if you had the spotlight here, then they would actually catch you and you would get sent to prison. Well, the same sort of thing can happen here, except, like, when the spotlight's on you, they'll start firing cannons at you. But when the cannons are firing at you, you can't sidle across here because they'll just shoot you off because you move so slow. But you can just use this to shortcut it, so don't even worry. One of those very obscure but helpful shortcuts to have. And there we go. Alright, how convenient that this door happens to be locked with that sort of button. Man, perfect shot of the hammer there. there. Alright, time for round two of Save Our Sister. Hopefully we can do it a little bit better this time now that we've got our Deku Leaf and other fancy stuff.